Legend of Total War here with part 8 of my uh, Total War Attila Let's Play campaign as Himyar. Previously we've been fighting the Sassanids and pushed them back uh, two settlements. I mean they took that from Pontus, which I don't really care if they took it, and um, I took this off them. Actually making a lot of money just off these two settlements. This settlement here is kind of wrecked. Um, Hang on, uh, let me just see here. So we've got a militia encampment here. Unlocks recruitment of a few different types of units. The Ashum are okay, I guess. Let me see this. What's needed for that? Oh god, it's ages away. Um, I'm probably just going to destroy that, actually. Camel farm, yeah, that's good. Keep that. Keep the village. Don't shouldn't need to convert that either. Now, we could try and consolidate this territory here, or we could push forward into uh, Assassinate territory. Let me just see what the chances are of a peace treaty. You have my attention. Pretty moderate. Um, I might try push forward just a little bit more against them. We fight for you, my lord. Okay, then Ready? there's probably going to be a revolt here, but I'm not really concerned about that. So at the moment, I think we've got 14 territories. 15. Um, so you're not happy. What's wrong with you? Office given to subordinates. You fucking loser. I hate these guys. What are you? You're a general in Egypt, right? Um, where's the uh, governor of Egypt? Okay, he needs to become a castellan. Yeah. Oh, wait, you're already a master of supplies. Uh, cancel that then. It doesn't matter. We've got Egypt under control somewhat. Okay, what I might do is adopt him. Uh, no, I'll adopt this guy here because he's got loads of um, authority, um, influence, I mean. And I'll have this guy secure his loyalty. Okay, so that went pretty well there against the Separatists. I tell you what, our guys fought pretty well in the desert as well. Wasn't really expecting them to, but they they performed well. But of course, when we're not in the desert, they're going to fight like shit, so we have to keep that in mind. So I've still got six grand. What am I going to spend it on? Um, that'll repair on its own next turn. Build up the sheep pens here. The public order is a bit crap. Why is that? Religious differences. Yeah, we're fixing that eventually. Okay, yeah, we do need to research that, but of course we don't have the 10,000. There's still other things that we need to build that'll increase our income. Might be good to have a few turns of just peace so we can fix up my economy a bit more. I could send this guy back to Amida to um, defend it, but I really wanted to push forward to Tessaphon. Alright, so Armenia, we've met them. They, oh, fuck. Please, they like us. And take wine to cool the head before we hit the day with work. I bet on aggression. Oh no, they're, they're a puppet state of, of um, the Sassanids. I guess they don't like the Sassanids very much. Who else likes us? No one really. African separatists. Um, Abaski doesn't mind us. We'll try. We've tried a number of times to get a trade agreement. We'll try again. No. Atropatine. Come, my friend. No. Africa. Come then. It's worth trying every now and again. You never know. They might have changed their mind. Anyone in the red, they're not going to accept it. What about a peace treaty with the Western Roman Empire? I think we've been at war with them long speak. enough. The emperor will. Because my thoughts are that we can accept a peace treaty and then someone's going to want me to go to war with them again and they'll pay me a good amount of money to do it. But I need to get that peace treaty first. And that only puts me now at war with the Sassanids. Even though the, the war against the East, uh, the Western Roman Empire really didn't mean anything. Okay, so Berenice here needs to be fixed up. Well, what the fuck? But he ruined. Uh, Bathhouse, Greek Baptist, uh, Baptist tree needs to go. So, what are we doing here? Bazaar? No. I guess I need to repair that. I am no one. Protecting your secrets. 
once we've sorted out the public order here, I'll be moving down to... Not yet. Eventually to, to take out all of this stuff. But, yeah, not yet. Alright, let's move on. It'll be good to have Egypt and Ethiopia. It's, um, once all that's consolidated, there's very small frontier. As we know, that's where really all the cost comes from. When you've got multiple wars on, fr on multiple frontiers. Okay, so the odds here aren't in my favour, apparently, but this should be a river crossing fight, which wouldn't really be in their favour. They fucking assassinated my general. Son of a bitch. There's nothing special in this army, and the only thing we've got to lose are troops that we can easily replace. So. We have everything to gain and nothing to lose. So I'm going to fight it. Of course our morale's not going to be very good. There's, there's a pretty high chance we will be beaten, I think. But, like I said, this army here... What, what's it got? It's got mercenary catapults. A few mercenaries. It's a, it's a desert spear. It's easily replaceable. I mean, I'm not at risk of losing any family members here, so... Fuck it. Let's fight them. We've got a chance to win. Small chance, but you know, they have to cross the river, and we know that you know they're not very good at doing that. I don't know which river they're going across. Um, sometimes assassinating the general is actually detrimental to the cause. I'm going to set my forces up here, and if they set up over here, that's fine. We're just going to move across. Yeah, let's set this up here. Cavalry, go around the other way. Do not shoot yet. Enemy reinforcements have been spotted. Like I said, probably gonna. Hang on, what's their attack? Okay, it's not technically a desert fight because their melee attack isn't at 41 or whatever it would be. So, I guess just whoever's getting shot at, make sure they're on steady. They, they're of course going for the general, but but we don't have a general, so it's fine. Take out those Persian mounted bowmen. Get across if you would. Okay, just stay right where you are. Might be wanting to use flaming shot. Um, actually, I got a better idea. Get back a little bit. So, they've wasted a lot of ammunition, haven't really done much damage. General recently died, did he? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, let me see this. So, I've killed quite a few of these Persian mounted bowmen, but I want to kill them all if possible. Do they have any Severan cavalry? Yeah, that's, that's the real threat right there. Increases their missile block chance. We will darken the sky. Like I said, if they manage to win this battle, it means nothing. Because for one thing, my real armies are on the other side of the river. So they're avoiding them. And I can raise an army like this again very quickly. This on the other hand, what are they going to do when I'm pushing into their territory? I'm on the attack. I guess, well, I guess, you know, they got to get any victory they can. Mm, shooting them's not really ideal. Let's use steady on anyone who's being shot. Mm, the thing is, they've got Armenian spears. Armenian spears are better than my spears. Should get into loose formation as well. It's 
guy's getting shot at. That's okay, he's kind of already done his worth. He's, he's killed quite a lot of um, Persian My mountain bowmen. Who the fuck ran away? Oh man, if their morale is that bad, we're not going to last very long. No, 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 no. Just stay where you are. The enemy have rallied their units. So you got 70 kills. I guess that's alright. Most of that's cavalry. I guess if you're also wasting their ammunition as well, that's pretty good. Alright, here they come. Okay, no more of this. The enemy has discovered our hidden troops. Mm, I wonder if that's even gonna hit there. It did, it was alright. Uh where are we? Just to stop for a moment. Really not impressed by that guy that ran away there. Should be ashamed of himself. Okay, get ready. We're going in. in. Just a moment. There we go. Go, go, go. Everyone go in. Charge. Okay, we want them to blow it up right there, if possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give us lots of kills. Oh, yeah. That looked alright. Can everyone use steady? Oh god, I have to do them all individually. Okay, try over in this blob here. Out of ammunition, but you can still waste their ammo by getting killed. My guys aren't gonna last very long. But then again, I don't know, you never know. I don't think we're gonna have a chance. Hang on, hang on, look at this. Yeah. They're getting some good kills. Okay, now time to use standard shot. Come on, guys, hold, hold steady. This. Enemy general's dead. Is it the right general, though? I don't think so, because it's he's standing right there. They sent in the, the wrong general. God, they've got so many goddamn archers. Once they run out of ammo, it's not going to be so good for them. Fucking Savaran cavalry. But then again, getting into the fight like this, they're probably shooting a lot of their own troops. And okay, they're coming in over here, which isn't really a problem. I don't know. Oh, fucking cowards. Okay, get onto flaming shot and hit this flank right here because we broke there. Back to standard shot. Try and aim for maybe for those Savaran cavalry. Come on. Stay together. They just don't have the morale without a general. These guys here are screwed, but that's fine. Alright. I got an idea. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. Don't shoot, don't shoot. You're gonna shoot into our own guys. Dumbasses. Friendly fire detection's so bad in this. All I can hope is that we, you know, got a decent number of kills, you know, they, they did lose quite a few guys. There we go, it's lost now that they're charging into the back of us. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Oh, I've still got my cavalry. I don't care if they get wiped out. Wipe these guys out here. Wipe them out completely if you can.
They're still shooting. They're gonna shoot a lot of their own troops. I'm not unhappy with how this went. Considering we had no general, and they had all those missile units, that didn't go too badly. Too bad they didn't have Testudo. Alright, what I'm gonna do here is just go for a rush for their general. No shit, Sherlock. Alright, so one thing we should definitely try to avoid is them running down all of my troops. Which they're seemingly trying to do. I don't really want to just concede defeat though. Oh, no. Some people will be like, oh, Legend, you're a cheat. Okay, I'm gonna do that though. And then other people go, why didn't you concede defeat? You can't please everyone. People are annoying. So as soon as these the sooner these guys here lose, or die, or whatever, the, the sooner these guys here can be saved. Close to feet. Okay, so that's fine. Like, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, we lost twice as many as they did, but they had higher value units. All of my cavalry should still technically be alive. Same with my onagers. A lot, lot of my guys there are dead. I don't think I actually killed off all of their, or any of their units. But the thing is, if they're going into my territory now, they're not going to get any recovery. So yeah, we lost a few units, but overall it's not too bad. They might pursue and, and run them down and finish them off though. Okay, so we did lose the onagers, but easily replaceable. They're just mercenary onagers. Journey completed. Okay, they're going to come in further. Yeah. No hope here. Just auto resolve it. But it's okay. We're not losing anything, really. I mean, all of that was just desert spears and a couple of mercenaries. Not like I'm losing any special units that I can't recruit yet anytime soon. And they've lost Arbola because of it, because they're not defending it. And I'll, I'll recruit a new army very quickly, I'm pretty sure of that. I mean, it would have been good if we could have won it, but you know. Given the situation, I kind of knew I couldn't run away from that one. That's okay. Lose the battle, win the war. That's that's the name of the game anyway. The battles aren't important. What's important is the war. The Sassanids are going to lose the war. Those artillery didn't do a bad job though. They were kicking some ass. Neither did the slingers. But I reckon if we were fighting that on a river crossing battle and we had got that de desert bonus we would have got a very different result. Because plus 15 attack is quite a lot. Also, what really broke us, I suppose, is morale. Our units were running away at like half strength. If they had fought to the death, we might have won. Of course... Yeah, I don't know. Oh... He actually died. He did, wasn't just wounded. So he actually fully died. Fucking enemy agents. Well, I thought he might have just gotten wounded. Uh, diplomatic dispute. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, demand tribute. Well then. That goes somewhere from my family member. Didn't we hire... Yeah, so we got a new guy in here anyway. So, one guy dies, another guy shows up. So you're the governor of Arabia Felix, who's the governor of Egypt, oh you're there. Governor of Syria, you can be that. Governor of, it doesn't matter. Um, this guy needs a wife. So, what are we doing? He only had 52, he, was, he wasn't the best of guys. His wife was, let me see here. 
Also, now since you've got... Yeah, you can go arrange a marriage with one of these and bring them into the fold. Hang on, hang on. Maybe... Let me just see here. 47, 29. This guy's younger. We'll go with the young... Young man. Okay, time to raise a new army. So... Let's get... You reinstate that legacy. And hop to it. So four per turn, plus we need to replace that stuff. They would mostly desert raiders, which aren't currently available. There's plenty of other things though. It'll be back up to scratch soon. See, these guys will take a few turns to even get down here. He's on force march. No point going after him, he'll just run away. Okay, um... I do need you to run down these Orions. I don't want them coming in there. I have to trespass on people that like us to go kill these rebels, unfortunately. Maybe I could have asked them for military access. Actually, no, I wouldn't have been able to because they're a vassal of the Sassanids. Public order here is still quite bad. So there'll be more rebellions. Okay, we can we can make our way to Tessaphon. Let's take it. Take their goddamn capital. Okay, we can order resolve that, but I think I'll fight it manually. Because we've got two lots of artillery. We take this settlement for you, my lord. What are we going to do with you? I'd like it... Oh, man, I really would have liked it to take Arbola as well. You know what the funny thing is, though? Didn't we try to hinder one of these armies a turn ago? Might have actually saved that stupid idiot. I'm going to try and hinder this guy. What's the chances? 40%. Not great, but better than nothing. Of course. I usually have very bad luck with that crap. So these guys are raiding down here, but the public court's fine. Okay, we've um, got this. So, um, I was thinking of just making uh, the waterworks here, because obviously there was a disease not too long ago. And then when we get Oman, Omana, um, we don't need a san another sanitation building, because there's only, only two per province is needed. Okay, what else can we do here? A lot can be built in Alexandria. How are we going for food? We've got plenty of that, so we'll go with this. Public baths. Can't upgrade that just yet. Still need the research. We need food and we need this converted. There goes most of my money. I should just disband this unit and replace it immediately. So as I said, even though auto resolve will definitely yield us a victory, I'll fight this manually for entertainment purposes. Alright, so we got We've got a fair amount of archers, that's certainly going to help. Um, they've got archers of their own as well. Oh, I don't have any... I should have got myself a unit of legionary defectors to waste their ammo. Still, I've also got better quality archers in them as well. So I think Tessaphon is a unique city. I don't, I don't think I've actually tried to fight in this place before. Manually. They've actually got towers here. 
nice little palace there. I'm pretty sure Testophon is modern day Baghdad. Alright, whatever. Don't get them to shoot just yet. They'll need flaming shot. Have them stand back a little bit. Everyone else stand back. Because don't forget they might have Bastion on. I I'd be pretty certain they've got Bastion on, I guess. For some reason, they don't put them in the right spot, though. Oh, well, that's their funeral. Uh, I don't want to get too close, but just out of range of their towers. And then we'll manually use the shots to um, knock down the walls, knock down towers. You know, that kind of shit. Mm, that one there could be a nuisance. So could that. So could that. We've got two loads of ammunition. They've only got nine each. Not very good. So, let's insert. Let's get started. Firstly, with... Um, I'm going to start with blowing up this tower here. Because there's a lot of guys up on the wall. And if I blow up the... the uh, start destroying the walls, they will run off it. Also, there's a chance that I'll miss these towers and hit the wall anyway. You kind of have to do this stuff manually, or else so many shots just get wasted. I mean, if you want to be efficient, I mean, why wouldn't you want to be efficient? You only get so much ammunition. It could be the difference between saving fucking 500 to 1,000 lives of your own men. And when you're at war against the Sassanids, you, you got to be efficient. Okay, then I've only got... Standing around there, we'll just now focus on this section of wall right here. So we've got plenty of ammo because we've got another set of onagers after this as well. I gotta be very careful not to move the mouse because I got it in a sort of sweet spot there. Move you guys over here. It's all just a trap. The tower has fallen. Good news. You might wonder, how did I know that was going to be the last shot? Dude, I'm Legend of Total War. Fuck, I know this shit. called instincts baby I wasn't even counting and I somehow knew instinct is a real fucking thing I bloody swear it's this voice in the back of my head that's it's sort of like the force it just guides me you just need to listen to it One, I th uh, they're not moving around. It's one or two more shots. I don't know. Has been destroyed. This bodes well. All right, now let's just survey the area here. Let's have a look. So that one's seventy percent damage. All right, get back to it. Destroy this section here. There's not that many people on there, but whatever. I think already this onager here has essentially destroyed a whole full stack. Two more shots and it's destroyed. I'm gonna kill that many. Oh shit, I should have maybe waited. We have destroyed their defenses. That's one section of wall. We can certainly go for more. What about that thing? I think it needs to go. Now, one of the downsides, though, 
is that if the Sassanids come back here this uh, next turn, during the end turn, none of this will be repaired. See, this is the kind of feature in a Total War game that they can keep within the next Total Wars. This is fine. I mean, didn't they introduce this in Shogun 2? It's good. But if they somehow took this out in, you know, uh, Warhammer, um, I just don't see why they do that. I mean, they get good features and they're like, they throw it away for mediocre ones. Alright, let's have a look at the situation here. These guys are up on the walls. I've got a few shots left. Everything's looking pretty good. Don't forget we've still got another lot of Vonnegas, so let's let's knock this one down. I hope he didn't overshoot that. It's more likely to be overshot than undershot. Is spent and he can no longer fire. All right, you're up then. Hang on, let me just see in the range. We can get a little bit closer. Check that again. That one there, right. You can see that there's sort of like little sections where each of the blocks are, where the sort of repetitiveness of the structure is. So this one here is right in the middle of it. easy to probably spot the stuff on low graphic settings. Maybe that's why I put it on low. Gonna be quick while they're still there. Oh, I want to see them all die. Good, like half, two half battalions there got destroyed. Alright, now what are they doing? Blowing up that gatehouse there will not hurt them. I don't think. Alright, I think we need to destroy this tower here next. I'm just going to leave it on fast mode. God damn it. Alright. And we're going to try and destroy this real quick. We'll just pagan ban, it's fine. Um, I think I'll blow up that section next, and then that one. Again, I'll just leave it on fast mode. Too many. Okay, then I want to destroy this section here, and then we can begin the archery phase with my fucking button. Oh, it's not on fast mode. Hang on. Ok, 
Okay, how much ammo do I have left? Got a little bit. Why don't we just save that for another time? If we do need to. Okay, but we're, as far as this area is concerned, we're clear of towers. Fairly clear. I mean, we don't need to go over here or there's nothing over there. So, they've also got a barricade here. Okay, whatever. Also, don't be on fire at will. First things first, I'm going to take the crap archers over here to see what's going on. Okay, there's their archers, Persian bowmen. I don't want to be shooting their Persian bowmen, I want to be shooting this pagan band. We should be using heavy shot. Okay, now it's possible that we can do a lot of damage to them to the guys up here, if we shoot correctly. So what's this, Persian scouts? It's getting a loose formation there. And let's just see how much damage we can do from this angle here. So we're doing a little bit. that to be honest those guys up there are not really a concern anyway okay the scout should have run out of ammunition by now I might need one of my cavalry because they're good at spotting I need to be able to see what's over here um, Okay, if I shot at that, that would be alright. I'll get the slingers for this one. Oh, you just shot off your stuff? No, it doesn't matter. Any kills? No. Okay, you're doing shit. You've only got 8 kills so far. Same missile attack between the two, two units there. So it doesn't really make them any better. Yeah, th see this wall here makes it difficult for them to shoot. Okay, stop that. That's not working, so we'll use, use one of these instead then. But do so at an angle. Even these guys here might be able to shoot them a little bit. Oh, they're moving away. Shit, we moved too close to the other tower. I've got enough ammunition possibly to destroy it, but I'm not going to. I could dance around and waste their ammunition. When they shoot it at that angle, it's actually very easy. If they would actually shoot. Bit of a dodgy thing, whatever. Is it really that dodgy to dodge arrows? So they'll get the occasional kill, but for the most part they're wasting their ammunition. Good. Come over here. I want to shoot these guys, but they keep moving around. Actually, the slingers right in here would be perfect. It made it difficult when they're standing right here, but if you can just get enough shot over it, then that's fine. Hmm. 
There we go. Now we're getting kills. No, no, no. What you don't want to do is get, not get close up. You just want to angle it right. It's all about the angle. And what you want to do is actually get further back. Because they shoot from an arc. Like, don't shoot straight ahead. And this thing here is, is raised. I've got access to shoot him. Let's go on flaming shot. And get rid of these Persian scouts. There we go. So how many kills did they get? 76. It's not very good. I've got two so far. Of course, they're in loose formation, shooting at a bad angle, but whatever. I will just send in my forces soon. Okay, you turn around. I want you to just continue shooting these guys. Get such a crap angle there. What I want them to do is like shoot up and over. Oh, you got a few kills there. You actually broke them. Yeah, there we go. This is what we wanted. Now we're going to get loads more kills. I think. Here we go. Yeah. We'll see if they... They don't need to get 160. Because we actually outnumber them. Then I'm going to get 160 kills. Okay, well it doesn't make sense to sort of not use our power ammunition before we go into melee. Because once we go into melee, we kind of got to keep on going, move quickly. We're not going to get a chance to use our archers, so it makes sense to use them now. Keep shooting him. You guys shoot these guys. Okay, if they're shattered, stop shooting. Okay, there's a whole bunch of guys coming in over here. Let's get ready to shoot them. Flaming shot needed. No, do not shoot the archers. They're they're used up. A unit has used all available ammunition. So you got seventy kills. You've gotten. Uh, they're doing okay, I guess. They'd be better if they were crossbows. Okay, archers over here. You might want to stand back. Okay, get ready. You guys are going in in a moment. shoot them. We're not really doing any damage. Alright, fuck it. Let's go in. What are you doing? Get out of here. Archers, have enough of you. These guys do not block missile shot very well at all. I mean, these are just fucking Persian archers. Oh, Persian bowmen are supposed to be really good. Whatever. 
Get in there and start killing him. We should be better than Pagan Band. Especially these guys. Good kicking some ass. getting a lot of these troops here, but I can't recruit them yet, I haven't researched them. We'll get there eventually. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Okay, you come over here. What are these called? Give me your right shot of light. I'll try and use them somehow. Maybe to crash into this. Come the fucking stupid camels. What are we gonna do with them? Cushion over here. You guys come in this way. Don't worry about him, he's got no ammunition. Actually, you come up here and attack them. You bloody cut them up. Oh, I know what to do with the camels. These guys can't escape. Come on, move it. this down because you get uh well you're not gonna go go up against the armenian spears but these guys will Jeez, that guy's kicked ass over here i told you to go up there and fight them or are they actually stuck no way they they appear to be stuck i can't actually get him up there all that time i spent shooting them what was the point Okay, you come over here, they'll handle this. You can get out of there now, you're taking too much damage. Actually, come around over this way. We're gonna crash into those Persian bowmen. And this guy here is fucking stuck. Okay, now we got him. Don't worry about them. Actually, just hit them really quickly. So they break. But it's these guys that I want to get. This is definitely going better than what Order Resolve would have yielded. No doubt about that. So I think all we have to do now is kill him. Okay, 
this should be getting captured, especially when they get in here. Because these towers are going to do more damage than the fucking enemy Armenian spears. And then again, Armenian spears aren't too bad. So you're actually taking quite a bit of damage. But these guys, both are warriors, they're tier 1. Our Armenian spears are tier 2. Still, we're also getting shot. It won't be much longer before it's captured. Oh fuck, they were tired. That doesn't help. Come on, hurry up and capture this. And also, they do have the high ground there. I should send in the uh, the bloody desert spears to help. It's just about captured. Oh shit! They're getting shot through the whole fucking time. It should be much easier to fight them now. See, instantly winning slightly, just by getting rid of those towers. Looks like they'll break soon. comes to back up. Better late than never. Okay, they're not going to route. We're going to have to capture this. You guys stay back. I don't want you to take any more damage. And these two over here to try and capture this. We are capturing a victory point. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to be able to like break into the palace, find the governor, and like drag him out of his hidey hole and execute him. Try and steer clear of that if you can. Okay, it's been captured. Stand back. It's because we can't really get to these guys. I mean, we could try maybe using... Maybe a bit of a uh, whistling shot. Oh no, that might actually work. I should have just done it in the first place. A unit's ammunition is spent victory! This is... Still, that's not too bad at all. I mean, look at the kill ratio. Their auto resolve probably would have yielded, I don't know, 700 kills. As in, on us. They were dead meat either way. Probably just occupy it. My income is uh, bloody skyrocketed because we lost that goddamn army. See how expensive the bloody armies are. Or maybe it's because certain things are being built. I don't know. Anyway, we've taken Tessa for now. If they want to come back here, it's not going to be easy for them. 
Okay. What can I recruit here anyway? Just out of curiosity. We can get armored camel warriors. Fuck, I don't like camels. I don't like them either. I don't mind Arabic horsemen. They've got pretty good melee attack. There we go. We're using them from charge. They're pretty good. They're decent speed. Got some armor. They're not too bad at all. However, we're not gonna. Uh, let me just see, actually. So we've got. Let me just see. So, Arabic horsemen. They cost 162 in upkeep. Just thinking of these two here, I do not like these Jamal al Balfa that much. I mean, yeah, they've got high health, but I don't know, they kind of suck. These guys have higher attack, much higher. So really, all these guys are good for is tanking. I wouldn't use cavalry for tanking. And Jamal al Rumha. I just... The thing is, you might say, oh, I love these units. Um, you're just using them wrong, Legend. I just... Yeah, maybe, but I don't like them. They're just not... Camels are not my style. So, I'm going to get rid of these fucking camels. The expensive, waste of money piece of shit. So, comparing... Let me just see. What, what abilities does it have? Now might not actually be the best time to disband fresh units. So, I might just leave it at that. So, we'll keep that just for the turn. Recruit that. Yeah. So what's this? Repair that, so we can start getting the garrison in here. Food trader, yeah, I guess we'll keep that for now. Tower of Silence, we can we can convert that. That'll be destroyed. Okay, so I've only got a little bit of money left. Let's see what we can do. Probably nothing with this amount. I'm going to force march you to to the settlement. And you can just stay there. Keep the public order under control. Next time the bloody Axum want to come sailing over here, maybe we can sail down ourselves and get them. I mean, I could also hire a navy, but navies are expensive and we haven't even hired all the armies. You hire navies once you can't hire any more armies, in my opinion. Or if you really do need the navies, which we just don't. Okay, everything seems to be under control, oh, except for this. Who, which governors are we going to put under there? Governor of Arabia Magna, doesn't really need it. Governor of Egypt, oh, you're there. So you're a governor, right. You're the governor of Arabia Felix. He doesn't need... Whatever, just fucking do it. Let's just move on to the next turn. So let's see what these assassinated dogs get up to now. Another rebellion over here. I would really like to go and take Garbala. sure if we can justify taking this guy out of the area. Okay, so they're they're basically taking a run off. They're going to try and look for any undefended settlements and hit that instead. Might be time to try and hit Arbala, take it, and call for a peace treaty. Temporary peace, sort of like an armistice, just so we can consolidate the territories that we've gained, and then once the peace treaty's over, we'll head back over there and kill them. Then again, next, mm, they'll drag in their allies into it, and that'll make things a lot harder. Maybe we should fight them as it is right now. The problem is that those two armies, they're going to they're gonna cause a lot of trouble. They're not great armies, though. We, we've whittled them down quite a bit. But they will try and hire any mercenaries in the area. 
No doubt about that. And I'll be stuck here for a while consolidating these uh, these territories. Okay then, so, what's the other settlement in this province? It belongs to Lakmids. Lakmids are friendly to us-ish. No, they're not. We don't have a trade agreement with them anymore. So where are they going? Looks like they're heading towards Emesa, which is a level 2 settlement, which would not be able to resist them if they attacked. Let's see if peace is on the table. Assassinates only have five territories Do left. Try my Peace is a possibility. My if I take another territory off them, it might not be on the table anymore. Nisibis has a garrison, so maybe they won't it won't um they won't make the attack next turn. I don't know. So we could possibly take Arbala. I, where's my spy? I need to know what's more out this way. So that's them. We're not. They're not our enemies. Ready for orders. This guy's on force march. For he can't you, actually Lord. make it to us. Um, what I might do is raise another army here. At your command. And just. Oh, there's no mercenaries. Not many, I mean. And we'll just see how that goes. So we'll keep the war going. So public order here is stable-ish. They wouldn't be able to make it to Tessaphon. Alright, you go and take Arbala then. Fucking hell, surely the odds would be a little bit better than this. Oh, I know what to do. I'll just bring him in. Because I don't care about these fucking minor town battles. And destroy it now then. Attack! Nice and easy, very few casualties. And occupy it. Ready for orders. And this is their source of marble we've just taken off them. Now how about a peace treaty now? What what will they say to that? Do not try my Still moderate. with a dull tongue. My torturer has a collection of dullards parts. I could get them to cancel the puppet state status of, let me see, of Lakmids in exchange from, for that. No, they won't do it. Ready for orders. You're probably not going to be able to kill that, so just, just stay there and wait. So yeah, I'll destroy this just because... Hang on, if I was upgraded... Yeah, there's too many camel soldiers in, in this guy's army. Um, let's see, camel farm, good, keep that. Town commons, keep it for now. Statue carver. No, I would want to convert that to, um, to this, to have more marble. Because this actually doesn't actually provide much marble. It does provide state religion. Yeah, whatever, that's not really that impressive. But repair it. There's going to be a rebellion here. That's okay. Wherever it shows up, we'll be able to stop it. Also, you'll need to keep recruiting as well. Maybe you should decimate your force because it's not exactly very happy. Keep an eye on these guys here. I could always declare war on the, the Eastern Empire sometime soon. Just not really just yet. Are we going here for food? Not much. Well, that'll provide us with how much extra? Extra 10. I would still need more if I want to upgrade that. Wait a second. Sheep pens? This was supposed to be fucking camels. My bad. Why did I decide to do sheep there? I mustn't have been paying attention. How much food have we got here? 75. Okay. 
So we could go... We don't need any more growth. And I don't know if we really need that to have that upgrade. That'll provide... That'll cost 40 food. That'll actually provide more money than it. So we're sort of stretched thin at the moment. It might actually be best to call the peace treaty with the Sassanids. Just because we can't really extend Do any further into their territory. Like so there it is. It, so when war is no longer profitable, just end it. So they really didn't do anything when we got to... I mean, they assassinated my family member or whatever, but who cares, really? Not a big deal. He was no one special. Okay, so we go camels here. And now we can... Now we're perfectly at peace. We can consolidate all the territory that we've gained. It's not... It's not perfect because, you know, we don't own the whole provinces, but at least we, it's a start. So Adamita needs to be converted... Let's see here. What can we convert this to? Magistrate Palace. I'm probably just going to demolish that, to be honest. Levy Center, yeah, just destroy it. So my thoughts here are we need another farm for food. And... Shit, I don't actually know. Maybe keep that for now. Because we... Hmm... I can always put the well there. And there'll be one here as well. Once we get it. Which we will eventually. So we've got 4,000 to spend. Okay, how much food have we got in this province? We've got a fair bit. Let's start with trade jetties. And we'll see how we go, because I do need a lot of money. More money will open up doors for us. Okay, so... What if we tried an actual P, uh, trade agreement with the Sassanids? Yeah, they'll never accept it. It's fine, let's move on to the next turn. A man has many faces. Interesting. Um... He needs to reduce corruption. Doesn't reduce it by much because we're not really that corrupt, but it still makes a difference. What are we researching again? Yeah, so we can get palaces. Good, so now basically we can just burn through a few turns, fix up our economy a bit more, make a bit more money, raise a few more forces before deciding who next to declare war on. Which I'm thinking maybe the Eastern Empire. A shield ball is always. No reason not to have a non-aggression pact with them. Eventually, I'll get so powerful that it won't even matter if I honor these treaties or not. They're not going to be able to do anything about it. I mean, if I can handle this total war campaign, I can certainly handle a bit of backlash from not honoring a treaty. So this war here severely weakened the Sassanids. They went, f they lost three territories out of it, because you can't count the fourth one that was owned by Pontus originally. And. Like I've said, I do want to get professional armies, but don't forget, it's only very early in the campaign. The best infantry I can get, actually recruit that, as far as I can see, are still bloody desert spears. So, until we can get some better stuff. Oh shit, who was that? They wounded someone, who was it? Well, it doesn't matter. I was actually here that they did it. At your command. Fucking Lachmids. Surely that's a declaration of war right there. Ready for orders. Good, I'm glad they didn't run away. Okay. 
Good, and I think with that we'll end the video there. So, how's the situation? I mean, there won't be another rebellion because he'll be moving into that settlement. Um, summary, we've got 17 regions. I think we are currently, yeah, the, we're the strongest faction. We've still got a lot of consolidating to do. The, the Sassanid Empire is still very much alive. And um, what the biggest strength that they've got are actually their vassals. And that's the main reason why I, I struggle to move against them. If I declare war on them outright, having these guys here bring all their, you know, two stacks or whatever is going to be a massive problem. Looking at these guys, they're all at war with the Sabirs. Who the fuck are the Sabirs and where are they? They're all over here. If I were to declare war on these guys speech again, speech, so we could get away with it. So maybe, maybe after we've consolidated these territories over here, let's start making some more profit out this way, or maybe into into here. This is all owned by the Eastern Empire. Our allies in this area have been pushed away. It's fine. I don't care about the Garamantians. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part ninth next, and don't forget to visit me on on Facebook. Shalom, fuckers.